Hi guys, my name is uh, Olaf Bergestam and welcome uh, to the Caribbean and uh, this Norwegian flight up to uh, Boston. I'm going to be your uh, captain on this flight and sitting next to me is my uh, senior first officer Greg. Say hi to the camera Greg. Hi, my name is uh, Gregory Roach. I'm the first officer today, assisting uh, Olaf. Uh, right now we're preparing the flight. We're uh, just boarding the last passengers. And uh, today we're also going to do uh, an ETOPS flight. Uh, Norwegian just received uh, their approval to uh, conduct ETOPS. And for those of you who are not familiar with the term, it's uh, basically an authorization enabling us to fly uh, more than one hour from uh, a suitable aerodrome which comes in handy when flying over the Atlantic because uh, we can do a little bit of a shorter route than uh, normal. So yeah, join us later. Hello, my name is Mats. I'm the technician here in Fort de France and I will show you a pre-departure server check for an ETOPS flight here today. So on the 737, the, the startup is a little bit more, uh, or should I say less automatic than, for example, on an Airbus, where you basically just uh, push a button. Here you uh, actually have to uh, put on the fuel yourself. Northshuttle 6702, clear for takeoff, uh, runway 12, surface wind 10, zero, zero degrees, 10 knots. Clear takeoff on right 12, North shuttle 6702. Looks okay ahead. Yeah, it looks good. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Ready? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. V1. Bonjour, numéro 1, avec quatre petites finales. Non, avec quatre petites finales, avec quatre petites finales. Positive rate. In order to uh, always have a safe way out, safe way out, we are we are going to ask for uh, flight level 380 and try to cross its weather above. And if that doesn't work, we're going to offset our track to the right, to the east, and go uh, around it. The area is called Waters, which is a West Atlantic uh, uh, track system. It consists of about uh, 10 different uh, tracks uh, oriented uh, north-south. Uh, it's not part of the North Atlantic uh, tracks, uh, which we have between the uh, United States and uh, Europe, but uh, it has a similar system with the uh, HF uh, communication. We also used uh, cell call and uh, position reporting. Along the route, I changed my mind and I decided to go to flight training instead. And uh, well, that's the story, and I've, it was a good choice. No regrets. It's a great, great environment to be flying, flying around in, in airplanes, and I don't really consider it work. Feels like Norman just here and have a good time and nice colleagues and uh, well, the views never get boring. It's uh, equally amazing every time I think. Don't ask me this at four in the morning when I have to get up, but but I'm up and awake. It's really good. All of us come from a different background. I'm myself from Belgium. Uh, William is from uh, Sweden. We have uh, Ricardo, our cabin chief. He's uh, Portuguese, and uh, we have also Sandra from uh, Spain, and then uh, Francisco from Spain as well. And uh, we have also, of course, Bjorn, which is the uh, uh, supervisor in Guadeloupe. He's the base supervisor for the cabin crew, and uh, Bjorn is also from uh, Sweden. So it's a mixed crew, mixed culture, uh, the new Norwegian, basically. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. That was a beautiful approach into Boston, one of uh, the best ones I've seen, weather-wise, that is, of course. <laughs> so, uh, hope you enjoy this uh, flight from the Caribbean up to the U.S., and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, Norwegian video. Thank you.